All right, so let me take a second and explain to you exactly what I'm about to do. So there's already a stainless pipe that comes off the turbo and goes basically down into the inner fender. Got V-band clamps on both ends. Originally, the aluminum was kind of went from there and tried to exit up front. But since I've changed my mind, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically fit some stainless tube that's gonna turn and go between the A-arm and the K-member and kind of go back under the motor and exit where the factory long tube headers or shorty headers would have exited on a Mustang. I will tell you, when working with V-band clamps, this Milwaukee cordless ratchet comes in super handy. You can kind of zips, zip them V-bands on and off with one hand while you're holding everything else with the other hand. Once I had all the stainless fit and kind of running exactly where I wanted it to, exiting at the bell housing, I put the car back on the ground, I turned it lock to lock, made sure that the tie rod ends were clearing the exhaust, that the exhaust wasn't too close to the, the strut, that sort of thing. Made sure all the clearances were there where I needed it, everything looked good. I will wrap this lower section with some kind of heat wrap just to make sure that it doesn't radiate any more heat than's necessary for the struts. Once I got all that done, then it was time to move on to the aluminum part of the exhaust. So this was a little bit more tricky, a little tighter clearances and stuff going around the, the transmission and had to exit through the, the transmission cross member. And so it was kind of, it was a little more tricky, but it wasn't terribly hard.
Doing exhaust on a car is very time consuming, especially when you're kind of custom making these pieces one at a time. You kind of got to like cut and fit, then tack, then fit again. If everything's good, if you don't have to like cut it back apart or nothing, then you move on to the next piece and you kind of guesstimate where that next piece is going to go, cut, fit, then go tack it, then fit it again. I mean, it's just very time consuming to get this stuff done. But when you do it like this, in the end, it looks phenomenal. When working on very tedious projects like this that seem that can seem very daunting, you just got to break it down into small bite-sized pieces and just kind of put your head down and tackle one bite at a time. Finish this one, then you move on to the next one. Finish that one, move on to the next one. Before you know it, it's done. It's really kind of like anything in life. I mean, if you're going to in school, if you're going to start a business, whatever it is that you're going to do in life, if it's a big, huge project, don't focus on the end of it. Just focus on one small piece at a time. Put your head down, focus on that, get it accomplished, move on to the next one. And before you know it, you'll be at the end. I tell people this all the time with YouTube. They have YouTube channels. They're all focused on, you know, getting a million, uh, you know, 100,000 subscribers or they're focused on making money. You know, they want to get to the money part. I'm like, don't worry about that. Just worry about making a video. Concentrate on making one video Get it done and upload it and then guess what? Focus on the next video, then the next video, and the rest of that stuff, the subscribers, the money, whatever it is that you're after, it'll just come. You gotta focus on, focus on the work, the rest of it comes. So I got this side of the car done. I still have to do the passenger side, which I actually think is gonna be a little bit harder to do because of the space between the bell housing and the firewall, mainly on that side because of the, the starter and stuff. It just has less space. Hopefully it won't be a huge chore, but it's probably going to be a little more difficult than what I did on this side. I don't know what I'm going to do as far as mufflers just yet. May not do anything. May just go back straight pipe and just dump it right before the axle. Uh, later on, I may do some experimental stuff with some mufflers. May make an aluminum muffler. I've done that in the past and they actually work really well. I know a lot of you guys were concerned about the aluminum. I've used the aluminum on exhaust on turbo cars before. Didn't have any problems. That doesn't mean that I won't on this one. But if I do, I'll just go back later on and do do you know stainless back half or titanium back half or something like that. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. As always, thank you for joining me. Got some issues with film schedule coming up probably in the next month or two. It's going to be pretty sporadic. I am moving into a new shop, so I have signed a lease on a new building. Uh, working on getting it sorted out now. It's probably going to be five times the size of this building here. Uh, I know it doesn't have that shop, home shop feel to it, and that may kind of, I think that's appealing to some people because you guys have shops that are, you know, similar to this, and so it kind of inspires some people to to make, you know, try big projects in small shops. Um, the way that I work, the way that I film, that shouldn't change. It's just going to be a bigger space. Uh, should be w you know, a little more well organized and then I can actually have all of the vehicles there in one spot. So I can have the dually, the Pearl, um, the Bibster, the Goose, all the vehicles will be there and I'll have a place to work and probably more extra space that I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet. The other thing is it'll be a public space so you guys can come. I'm going to have some shindigs, we'll do some get together, some meetups. You guys can come and see all the projects firsthand, hang out, and uh, it's not like everybody hanging out at my house, you know, which is kind of weird. It'll be a public space. So that's good. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Um, I might be doing like some little sneak peeks maybe on Instagram or Snapchat. So if you guys don't currently follow me there, go check me out. As always, thank you for joining me. I'm sure I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.